All right, here we go, guys. I want some more Dragon's Dogma 2 updates and whatever else they got for it. Come on, Capcom. Let's do it. Let's see what you got. A Path of the Goddess as well. All right. More updates on this. Hell yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm excited to play this. Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh, my God. I just beat Dragon's Dogma 1 like a week ago. At least at the time of this stream or this recording, so. What is happening, y'all? Welcome to day one of Capcom what? Highlights 2024. Fighting cowboy? cowboy? I'm a content creator and variety streamer, and I've been playing Capcom games as long as I've been able to hold a controller. My so third favorite my content Joe, creator. The Capcom USA community managers. Super excited for today's Capcom Highlights. We've got two days of exclusive looks uh, at some of our upcoming games that we really can't wait to get into it. Cowboy, I think there's going to be some games in here that you'll be pretty excited about. I'm, I'm ready to see them. Nice. All right, well, I'm actually game, happy for him. I'm proud of him for this. First game. Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess. Hey. So this is for the Xbox Partner Preview yesterday. And I'm very interested to play this. It's going to be on Game Pass day one. So low bar barrier of entry and even trying it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I love Japanese folklore, mythology culture stuff like and they're mixing in a lot of Japanese stuff right here different kinds of yokai nasty nasty bug ew It's like coming everywhere though. Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess, is a single player action game that will test your strategy skills in a Japanese inspired setting. Yep. The game is set on a mountain covered by defilement. During the day, rescue villagers to work with you. At night, the gates to another world open, and you'll fight to protect the maiden. Repeat this day night cycle to bring peace to the villages and purify them. Mm hmm The setting. Mount Kafuku, a land blessed by nature and the goddess who inhabits it, is suddenly engulfed in a black substance. This defilement transforms the mountain. It steals masks that contain the goddess's powers, making them its own, and threatens the villagers. So is the protagonist of the game. So guides the maiden, Yoshiro, as they use the masks and work with the villagers to purify each village and return the mountain yep. to peace. Pretty much what I read from the Xbox Wire article. Yeah, they're all confirming it. Now, let's take a look at some in-game footage as we go over elements of the gameplay. Now, reading about an article and seeing it, though, is different, right? I want to see this gameplay. This looks so cool. Cover the mountain. Oh, man. At night, these gates connect to another world. Mm -hmm. And the seeds emerge to steal Yoshiro's power. During the day, you must purify the defilement and guide Yoshiro to the gates so she can sever the connection to the other world. Nice. I love who have been purified are given powers through masks and are able to take on a variety of roles as they work with soul to fight off the seeth. Okay. I love the strategy of this. At close quarters combat. Archers fight from a distance. Right? Ascetics use spells to restrain the seeth. There are many other roles. You can freely place villagers who have been assigned roles. 
Nice, okay. The carpenter accompanying So can repair contraptions in villages to help fight off the seas more effectively. Dude, this is a strategy game. I'm During sold. The day, rescue villagers, make repairs, and strategically place villagers to fight off attacks. This is an RPG strategy game. Kind of has a bit of elements of RTS in it. The game oh, I'm down. Real time, and night arrives before you know it. I'm so down for this. The seas that emerge from the gates at night attack Yoshiro in many different forms. So gracefully fights them off with dance-like sword techniques. I do love strategy. Like I love RPGs that like or RPG strategy games. They don't have to be RTS or like this. But if they're an RPG that has like a good strategy to it, yes, I'd love that shit. Because it makes my brain think. It helps my brain stay active. That's why I like card games. That's why I like Yu-Gi-Oh and like Magic the Gathering. It's good to play games that exercise your brain, so you keep your brain sharp. Change villager placement and roles in real time, even at night. What placements and roles will be most effective? Where will the villagers fight? And which enemies will Seoul focus on? Constant changes will test your strategy and tactics. Nice. Okay. Digging that. I'm really digging that. Guide Yoshiro to the Torii gates as the days and nights cycle to purify the gates and villages of defilement. This game looks so beautiful. Oh man, so cool. Amongst the seas are the especially fearsome festering seas. They pursue So and Yoshiro with powerful attacks. Ah. Working together with the villagers is the key to defeating the festering seas. Okay. Purify the defilement covering the mountain. What is it that awaits Yoshiro where you guide her? This title will be available in Japanese as well as English, Chinese, French, and other languages. Nice! We're excited awesome. to share this Japanese-inspired setting and dynamic gameplay with players around the world. Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess, launches on Xbox Game Pass, Xbox Series X, S, Windows, PlayStation 5, and Steam available in 2024. No price? Uh... Right, there you go. There's a first deep dive into Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess. It's coming later this year and it looks really awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited that we finally got to see gameplay. Uh, this is something I've had my eye on and, and it's really interesting seeing kind of the fusion of both strategy and action, like you know, setting up your troops for the battle, but then also engaging in the battle and moving them as things progress. Definitely a very unique concept. And of course we got that, that you know, very traditional Japanese aesthetic going on with the spirits and whatnot. So really looking forward to this one. Yeah, super unique, super creative game. And with that said, let's get to our next title. Dragon's Dama 2, 2, baby! Hell yeah, ooh. I am so pumped for this. Oh, I'm excited. So excited to play this later this month. Hello everyone, my name is Hideaki Itsuno, and I'm the director of Dragon's Dogma 2, and I'm producer Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. Dragon's Dogma 2 launches on March 22nd. Today, we'd like to introduce some of the game's features. Okay, awesome, let's go! Dragon's Dogma 2 is a narrative-driven, open-world, action RPG set in an immersive fantasy world. We hope players feel like they've been reborn in this vibrant new world. Nice. Join forces with pawns skilled with various weapons to form a party of up to four. Right. 
While this is a single player game, forming parties will recreate the feel of being on an adventure with friends. Right, right. Players will encounter legendary monsters as they venture through the distinct areas of the game. Mm -hmm. Some monsters fly through the air with dynamic attacks. Yeah. While others are more cunning and mysterious. They're showing us a lot of stuff they already showed us gameplay wise before. Night. Oh and wait, that's new. In nature. They yeah, we've seen him before. A variety of challenges for the player. Test your decision-making ability and creativity using your vocation and the surrounding environment. Of course, you can always choose to run away. Yeah. If you run somewhere occupied by other characters, you may end up naturally joining forces. Oh, really? But reactions will vary character to character. Some will be frightened, while others will show courage. Interesting. Their okay. relationship with you, the Arisen, will vary based on the actions you take. That, in turn, will change their relationships with each other. Right. A variety of characters await you on your journey through Dragon's Dogma 2. Okay. Over true, 1, true. characters inhabit the world, each with their own unique stories and motivations. Oh, wow. They will sometimes ask for your help, marking the beginning of a new quest. Quests have an array of different objectives, from saving people being attacked by monsters and avoiding detection as you sneak into a location, to locating and delivering valuable items. Makes sense. Yeah, decisions ma matter, yeah. This is going to be one of the few games or handful of games where your decisions actually matter. Combat isn't your only option. One alternative might be to make a counterfeit item and see if you can pass it off as the real thing. Oh! The world is a complex web of human relationships, and the player's choices have consequences. I like it! I like it! We've expanded the world of the original game to make it a denser, more elaborate experience. Good! Enabling players to fully inhabit the role of the Arisen. Sweet. We have several announcements ahead of the release of the game. Oh, do you? First, take a look at this video. Oh, new video! Okay. Oh, all right, all right. I'm liking the customization. Looks better than the first game. Yeah, more customization options. Thank you. Starting today, what? Players can create and edit their arisen protagonist and main pawn in the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator in storage. What? Really? Yo! Course, you'll be able to transfer the character data to the full version of the game. Oh my to god. Five and five pawns can be created. This is the perfect opportunity to prepare for the adventure before the release of the game. That is Early amazing! Pawns, planning to have some of the pawns created by specific players as official pawns. What? Players will be Max Main dudes in there? Of these pawns to aid them on their journey. We will have more details about official pawns and who they will be in the near future. Yo, I gotta get Max. I gotta get Max in there. I got to. Dragon's Dogma 2 is now available for pre-order. The Standard Edition and the Deluxe Edition both include pre-order bonuses. We hope you consider pre-ordering. The March 22nd release date is right around the corner. It is. We here on the Dragon's Dogma 2 team are thrilled for you to experience this game. Thanks I'm thrilled. Patience. Oh my god, that is so cool! That's it? Is oh, that so it? so much good stuff in there, lots to dissect. And it looks like people can go ahead and start creating their Arisen and their pawns with the character creator, right, Cowboy? Yeah, that's something I'm really looking forward to. I usually spend my first hour of gameplay just in character creation, so getting that done and ready to go is going to be fantastic. And of course, I get to create my own official Cowboy pawn, so make sure to keep your eyes out. It's going to be the best tank in the game. Oh, it's yeah. I want, I want to get his pawn, pawn too. Our special guest joining us. It's the director of the game, It's Tsuno-san. Hello, Tsuno-san. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, konnichiwa. 
カプコンのいつの秀明です今日はよろしくお願いします So we're very excited to talk to you about Dragon Star Dragon Dragon today. We also had the announcement of the official pawns, which is something I'm very excited to be a part of. And pawns are something that are very unique to Dragon's Dogma. So talking about pawns in general, how they evolved in Dragon's Dogma 2, what can you tell us about them? They have more character, okay. より、あのー、プレイヤーが育てたメインポーンとか、nice. okay. 一緒にメインポーンと行動した内容とかが、えー、貸し出した先でもより忠実に、えー、その経験を、まあ、他のプレイヤーに伝えたりとかすることができるようになっています。Cool. あと今回あのスペシャリティっていう、まあ、ポーンそれぞれの特別な能力がある,あるんですけどもこれはポーン1人につき1個だけ。習得することができるんですけどもこれがちょっと新しくて面白くて主にプレイヤーが「あのめんどくせえなこれ誰かに代わりにやってくんねえかな」っていうことをポーンがやってくれるような特殊能力になってくるので、okay. これをまあどの能力をポーンにつけるかもしくはどの能力をついてるポーンを借りるかっていうところもすごく、えー、今回面白いかなと思ってます。Definitely looking forward to that customization. So you've shown off a lot of monsters so far, but thinking about everything you've been able to share, is there one that's really a standout that you can't wait to see players get the chance to go up against? Sphinx. Sphinx oh, ね、Sphinx, okay. まず、見つけるとこから大変だとは思うんですけども、ゲームプレイ始めたら、あ、そういえば Sphinx っていう話あったなと思いながら、フィールドを冒険してもらえると、出会えるかもしれないんで、ぜひ Sphinx を。戦ってもらいたいなと思います。うん。OK。最近やってるのはソーサラーなソーサラー、right. That's his favorite. えー、この前新しく紹介したジョブの、えー、まあアリズン。そのアリズンっていうジョブの中でソーサラーの武器を装備させて。Oh, that's so sick! Wow! So, I think it's a good question. Well, I could honestly ask you questions all day about this game, but I know you're busy and I do want to respect your time. So, thank you very much for taking the time to join us. Thank you so much, it's Sino san, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye! <laughs> Well, that about wraps it up for day one of Capcom Highlights 2024. Cowboy, what was your favorite part? I've been waiting 12 years for a Dragon's Dogma sequel, so as much information as I can get about that, the happier I am.、And、between the official pawns and the new locales we got a chance to see in the teaser, I'm pretty pumped. I will Hell say, yeah! Kinitsugami definitely looks like a very unique combination of action and strategy, so I'm also looking forward to that. Yeah, before we wrap up, we do want to say thank you to Itsuno san for taking the time to speak with us today. All right. We'll be back with day two of Capcom Highlights on March 11th. So we hope to see you there. Thanks so much. Yeah.、Everybody. Okay. Wow. That was awesome. Honestly, that, that, was, that was sick. That was sick. I mean, only two games. Wasn't much there. Highlights. March 11th, they'll be back for day two. So I may not stream that one. I just made us react to it off stream and just re record or whatever. Post up on YouTube. But, uh, Wow. All right. uh Super, super happy about that as far as with the updates with Dragon's Alma 2. And I still got more stuff to share leading up to the game. Like, we're roughly three weeks away. Literally. We're roughly three weeks away from Dragon's Alma 2, guys. And I cannot wait. It's going to be so freaking good. 